All stunts performed in this video are done in a controlled professional environment where no one is able to get hurt. I put this on everything. Whenever Jamar go with me anywhere, we can be going to the corner store. I don't know what it is. We either run out of gas, we break down, or something happened. This whole time that we've been driving this truck, this truck ain't never had no problem. The one day he drive it. We on the fucking side of the road. Bro, whenever Jamar's inside the vehicle. Bro, it be you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. Oh my God. Golly. I'm gonna show y'all a sneak peek of Derek 2500 and 1500 that he recently bought that I did not show on the channel. So, as you can see, this is his hot country. This is Tow Pig on American Forces. And then we got his big 2500. Cummins right here. This is a mega cab. It is on 30s. And then we got his 1500 on 28s. It's fully powdered. It got everything done to it from the bumpers to the headlights to the grill. So as y'all can see, this is his mega cab right here. This is American Force 30 by 16s on 42 inch tires. This is Plan B lift. And you can see he got gold and like turquoise blue. Then we got the OG Ram 1500 on American Force wheels. As you can see, it is on 28s. And I think this size tire is 40. He got bodyguard bumpers. The last time y'all seen it looked nothing like this. It got color marks, tail lights. It got bodyguard bumpers. This thing is so clean, y'all. As you see up under here, it got train horns. Every single boat in this truck got a spike on it. This truck literally got rebuilt when he had all the parts within a week or less than a week. They ain't seen you about what? About a year? Probably longer than that. Yeah, been yeah, like yeah, two yeah. years. You just it's not waking up. Man, we, we had to revamp. Can I say, man, we blessed around here, man. Yeah. Whole gang, we blessed. Yes, sir. But y'all know what we finna do. And, uh... About to go to Texas and we'll see how we get there. Two cups of that me goes on in my feelings. I know these whole come down a dozen, but see you, you different. I'm busting plays with my head up, but I'm feeling down. They thinking I done took my goals out. Cause now I barely smile, I risk it all just to hug. Kiss you again. I know we didn't start. How the fuck we coming to a end? Say, come real, gotta be real. Cause I don't know what I. Alright, guys, so we officially made it over to Texas. Gotta unload the trucks. <laughs> I heard it's over 2,000 trucks here, so we got a lot of walking to do, a lot of trucks to show y'all. I hope you guys enjoy this content. Make sure I like, comment, subscribe to y'all the best. Follow me on Instagram at Pop and Clutch. Make sure you press your wood lights, your rock lights. Subscribe to the channel because this is about to be a great, great, great video. A great weekend with some great concerts with some great people. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. We're going to go check out the show. Look at these different trucks, these different builds. It's a lot of lower trucks here, lifted trucks, fast trucks. I just hope the meats be lit. I hope, like, it be so many so I just came over to the JTS booth. That's the first booth I came over to, and I already see this 2024 2500. They got so much chrome up under this truck. You see, you got some JTX wheels. You got an FTS fully chrome, fully chrome spindle, fully chrome sway bar. I'm gonna actually let Chris do walk around this truck, and then we're gonna go see his truck. But I want to let y'all see the twenty thousand dollars worth of chrome up under this truck. So we got a 2024 High Country. This truck sitting on the 11 to 13. FTS kit. Pull over rear, no more leak. Everything you see on the truck, all chrome plate. Front rear drive shafts, all the bars, the lower control arm, upper control arm, lift spindle, calipers, rotor backing plates, the axle ends are chrome. What tripped me out is that the gas tank, yes, the, the straps on the gas tank even chrome. Jump down in the rear end, do you see any lines, any wires on the rear end, nothing. All that's been fully cleaned, re-ran, nice and neat. You really don't see no, no wiring up under there at all. The straps for the gas tank even chrome. And you can even go further, attention to detail. All the, all the screws, factory screws have been swapped out for those stainless button heads. Uh, rock lights, 
Okay. Good God. The yeah, rock lights flush Special inside house. here. Now, I've been seeing Chris Chuck all over Instagram, and this is my first time seeing it in person. The perfect toe pig, y'all. You can see, obviously, he got the JTX wheels on it. Before I forget, when he was talking about the rear, actually, see how all the cords and stuff, see how everything, all the wire and stuff is showing? On that 2500, you didn't see none of it. We kept this one at the 7 to 9. On 37s, upper control arms, shocks, resis. I'm a break, baby boy. Concrete, little nigga. Yeah, rapping all that shit. I'm still a. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't like anybody dog rap on the truck until I seen this Cummins right here. This thing right here is mad clean. It's like simple and clean with the dog rap. You got some ruthless forge wheels on here, flowing caps, Plan B caps. You can see that like coilovers, powder coated, striker lift. This thing look good. This is like really, really, really nice. Simple and mad clean. Stealth! Now, this is probably the. Best 2500 I didn't see in person that I really like. What you think, Jamar? I ain't okay. I'll take the black one though. I still, I ain't okay. The I'll black one? Black. Nah. Oh my God. Fully color match 2020 GMC Denali. Got a plan B lift on here. Got overlays, fully powder coated frame. The coilovers are powder coated. It's bad. JTX wheels on 30s. Fully polished exhaust. Fuel cell fully polished. Powder coat everywhere. Like I said, it's bad. Entire rear axles powder coated. Drive shaft is polished. To get in the position, try to speak my piece so you ain't leave, but you love, you ain't listen. Uh, can't describe the way I'm feeling. Told me we need space, but what is space? I kind of hard to keep my distance. How the fuck you expect me to keep my distance? Nobody won't be lonely, uh, and that's the truth. Though they got a lot to say, can't say I did for them, I did for you. It's bitch a trip to sign the shoes. Can't go out like no bitch, but I ain't gonna lie, shit right now. All right, guys, so I showed y'all the white 2500. Now I'm gonna show y'all the black 2500, as you can see. Don't root this forge wheels, fully powder coated frame. You can see, got a lot of flake inside that frame. Plan B lift kit. This one don't have the fully polished exhaust. Pull over reservoir shock. I really, really, really like that white. Hey, I ain't a tight to look for love, but if she righteous, I'm a wife. Let a nigga play and I'm pulling up on a nigga like a diaper. I'm in a stolo out the low three of the bro trying strike a hop out the whip and walk a fuck nigga down Miles Michael. Having dirty blitz and sticks, ARPs with the bean. No, these bullets big as hell, no, they gon' spit a nigga spleen. Been fell in love with the streets, but I'm still waiting on the ring. Pay attention, I'll show you something, show you some shit you never seen. When I'm in traffic, no, I'm in and out, I ain't stopping. I'm pretty sure this is probably the biggest 1500 that's out there right now. Last year, this truck wasn't that wrapped, like it didn't have a full wrap on, but this year, he has a full matte gray wrap on it with some blue going on. As you can see, this is custom. I'm not sure if that's paint or powder corner frame, but it's fully done. I'm not sure how he made this thing this big, but this is a huge 1500. Inside this truck, they have a box built like this. They have tins right there. They have a trees air freshener implement right there that you can see through that box. They told me slow down. slow down. You full of these person, I swear it's gonna go down. See, I keep the dough down. The double up seven, you see this shit, my sound. And my mirrors get hot now. Me and Deuce say we Dr. Dre and we too pop now. Still on the block and he still for the off. I'm addicted to the purse like the way that they pop. Addicted to her like the way that she twerk. I'm here from the back to the beat, say it hurts. Too, too many shots and they call for the odds to get off it. They see us, they better reverse. My mama said, How did I turn to a demon when she used to come and take me to the church? I jumped out the porch and I put in some work. Fell in love with the choppers, I like how they work. Fell in love with the violence. Really all right guys so y'all know truck shows are fun but nothing is funner than going to a truck meet bro i've He's never seen a state where action. the police drives and literally anything that is a police officer right here what is police lights on in a jeep what the hell Alright, what's this? 
Guys, so we got Danny right here. He's about to review his truck. So my Instagram is 612 underscore Danny, and the YouTube is 612 Auto Works, all spelled out. So it's a 94 Ram 2500 12 valve Cummins. I bought it about a year, year and a half ago. It was a California truck, low miles, 114,000. It was automatic, bone stock basically. I kept it for a little bit, drove it here and there, and then uh, I can't leave anything alone. So I got like the little idea one day. Hey, let's paint it pink. I'm supposed to go to SEMA this past year and the company was supposed to go with um, wasn't able to get the product ready in time so they didn't need a second gen anymore so i did the body work primed it and let it sit for like three months when we got back home from sema started painting it we did four corner air ride kit custom kit um, we made for it because nobody makes anything for these trucks did a little bit of stuff under the hood just like a turbo injectors and stuff just to make it a little bit more drivable i always wanted a manual truck so i bought a tremec tr4050 it's a new trans they make five speed did a trans swap on it like a week ago basically custom hood that we made in house custom front bumper we made in house all custom cnc uh, honeycomb style grills we did a set of custom projector headlights we did a little honeycomb on the projector lens and all that stuff brand new set of american force wheels they're called the frenzy i think i'm the first one to have them it's got a custom three-stage candy pink or magenta or whatever you'd like to call it paint job um, the bed has a custom epoxy wood floor that i made um, with kind of like a little bit of a bench seat. It's not really done, I kind of put it together quick. Um, we're gonna add some audio to it. We're gonna rewrap these covers because I don't really like that marine decking that I bought. I wanna get some different stuff. And then uh, it might pop up at one of the next shows with a strip pole in the back. We'll see what happens. <laughs> um, we did a roll pan, smooth the bed caps, bunch of little stuff. I didn't get a chance to make like a ship knob or that's just like something I threw together so I could drive it. I gotta run the wire for the air ride controller and stuff like that. She's simple but complex. Would you ever sell this truck? It would take a lot for me to sell it, honestly. I wanted to sell it before I built it. I wasn't gonna go too crazy with it, so I was gonna build it and try to sell it. After I kind of started going a little bit too far down the rabbit hole and doing too much to it, now I really, really like it. And I don't think I would get rid of it anytime really soon. What would be the price that if somebody walked up to you right now and said, hey, I gotta buy this and I'm gonna give you this, what would you take? Honestly? The first number that comes to your head. 90 grand. Gee, when you person. have love for something, it's yeah. priceless. You yeah, can't, you really can't put a price on it. So 100%. for you to get rid of something, it has to be a lot. It's like you see like the guys on like uh, like Facebook when their wife makes them sell something, so they put yeah. really high price, yeah. Yeah. so they know no one buys it. That's yeah. how I would be with this yeah. truck. Like yeah. I would, I would put the price high enough that no one would want it. <laughs> yeah, that's because that's how much love you got for it. Yeah, and you but, put so much time and effort into this. Hundred percent. But if somebody wants to do something similar, I could just build another one. Yeah, you know yeah, so. exactly. I think that'll be uh, that'll be an easier way to go for somebody. He actually has a shop in New York, so if you want to visit his shop, your shop, what is your shop? Uh, uh, it's called Six Twelve Waterworks. We're in uh, Rockland County, New York, which is thirty minutes north of New York City, basically Manhattan. So uh, I always tell like people like when they want us to build a car for them, like customers and stuff. I always say like, come visit the shop, come see what we do, and go see Manhattan. And you know, it's like a nice little tourist kind of thing. It's yeah, like, it's not like we're in the middle of nowhere, so it's always like there's always fun stuff to do. We're always goofing around yeah. and having a good time up there so do you have any powder coat done on this short when i do the brakes i'll probably do powdered calipers uh because i'm gonna do a, a disc brake conversion and a big brake up, up front conversion so when i do all that i'll probably do the calipers but uh, as far as like control arms and like the four link arms and stuff like that unless you like lay on a creeper and slide under there you can't really see it so yeah. that's all gonna stay i heard that you actually built this hood yourself technically kind of yeah so this is a stock hood that came on the truck i got the scoop off of another hood uh, we cut the center out and we molded it to this to the steel hood and body worked it smooth I don't like to talk about it because like when when you say that it sounds really cheesy Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of shops out there that do really kind of cheesy body work and you would assume it's all lumpy and stuff mm -hmm. It's pretty much dead straight I, to so, be honest. This looked like the original can, hood like yeah, you never did nothing you to can it. never tell so it, it took a lot of time to get it like that um, to make it look nice, but yeah, so it's there's a couple different materials of of uh, 
of stuff on that. Yeah. <laughs> what about this bumper? That's a custom front bumper. So uh, I'll give you the backstory, I guess, because everyone always asks me for it. So I guess this is this is the exclusive. If you want to know what is the deal with this bumper, this is the only place I'll talk about it. My dad was into the Cat Eye Chevys. When I bought my Cat Eye two years ago, I went to go build it. I said, hey, you got any more of those bumpers? He said, I don't know, maybe in the containers. We went in his container at his shop and he had a couple of them left. I took the last HD wow. bumper for my Cat Eye. People went crazy over it. It looks sick. So I was like, you know what? Let's do, so I didn't know what to do with this front bumper. So I was like, maybe we do the same one. He had the lower half, one of the lower halves in the container. We got a fiberglass, like generic cover for a second gen. We put them together, filled in all the gaps with fiberglass, body worked the crap out of it. And uh, we got it to, to work. The car, you cannot be driving it. Pushing the car, don't drive my gravity. Double up seven, I feel like an Asian. When you come to taking shit down, I go crazy. Before I go broke, I'ma go down a crazy. I can't wait to show them my grandma I made it. Can't wait to show them my grandma I did it. But she ain't here with me, I'm turned in the city. I feel like Z-Bo when I shoot with the 50. If you want to smoke, I'ma shoot till it's empty. I will be reviewing a brand new F-350 Dually that my guy Evan built. It's a brand new truck that just got built last Monday or this past Monday, right? Just got built this past Monday. What's up guys? It's Evan from Big Shot Industries. Behind me, this is our brand new 24 350. We just picked it up two weeks ago. Everything we did, we did an 18 inch Elevate manufacturing kit. 18 inch coilovers, shocks, everything. Still got a little bit of adjustment, so it's sitting probably around 16 and a half, 17 inches. It's on 44s, 30 by 16s in the front. Box shocks, we got them polished. Frame overlays, a house of color orange that matches our powder coat. We did a Magnaflow 5-inch DPF back exhaust. Uh, the gearing stock, which we wanted to re-gear, but we couldn't find the parts in time. So we were really crunching to get this done for LST. We were originally going to build a GMC, but the lift manufacturer that we were going to go with did not deliver in time. So we switched up our game plan in November, uh, called Elevate, and they said they could get us a kit. They got us a kit out in five weeks, and we got it first of January, sent it off to powder. Got it packed two weeks before the show. Got it all together. Everything is powder coated. All the orange is striker gold over cloud white. Um, or all the black is tuxedo black from Ford. All the black is the same flake as the truck body. How much do you think is the investment in this truck so far? Mm, with the price of the truck? Yeah. Uh, 150. I think we just rolled 350 miles on it. Wow. We tore it apart with 91 miles on it. Since this truck was a Lariat when we got it, all the bumpers and all the plastics were obviously black, just the flat black plastic. All the bumpers were chrome, so we tore them apart, had them sandblasted, and uh, overkill in Sparta, Illinois. Did all of our color match for us. Our taillights, headlights were all done by Retro Shop uh, in St. Charles, Missouri. They smoked the taillights and the third brake light, and then they actually busted apart the headlights and painted the housings to match the truck. We kept the grill factory just because we thought it might be a little bit too much black. Make sure you guys follow us on all of our socials or at Big Shot Industries and my personal stuff is Evan underscore BSI. No we 4K all way to the end. We run around with the Drace and the Fiend. We run around, we're gonna spin on your man. We run around, we're gonna spin on your man. Hop out with the chopper, hit you and your friend. I grew a fuck she came with a friend. She eat all night with a friend. Perks and activate, do it again. I wrote me a all right guys, I'm not gonna lie. I did not walk around the show only because the first day I got out of here, I hurt my ankle so I could not walk around. But this is the last day to show. I had to show this F-150 that's super, super, super clean. I'm letting the owner explain what he got done to it. Got electric windows, everything, the whole nine yards. So I'm letting him explain, y'all just listen up. Oh, baby made a way for himself. They won't credit for shit they ain't did. She back outside, I'm in the field. This is my 1979 F-150, got the Ford truck. All powder coated suspension, 26 by 14, American fourth wheel. We're working on the interior now. Still got a few things to button up, but overall it's looking really good. If I catch you, you know what it is. That's right, she get the bitch. He ain't right, you in the middle.